Good, excited fight right here. Third fight yes. of the night. 9 and 0 against the 3 and 0 guy. Nicely jab right there by Rogers. He's a longer guy. He's got to utilize that jab early. Three inches reach. Yep. Dugan's got to slip in. Yeah, nice, good slip in. As I said, it very fast too. Very high skill for this early in the card. Nine and zero. Yes. He has to throw that jab, but he has to be weary with it. If he throws it too much. Nice. Dugan slipping with that left counter. Okay. I, Rock, backstage, I know he's the underdog, but he just had that look. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can hey, sometimes look at a fighter. Sometimes it's that look, man. You just, you feel it. It's in the atmosphere. It's around you. you you're clicking. Every, your hands are light. You had a good weight cut. Sometimes it's, you, you got that look, man. And when you don't, you don't. Action right in front of us here. Island fight 68. Fight three out of 14. All right. All right. Rogers in the blue trunks with the red gloves. Dugan in the black trunks and blue gloves. Great body shot there by uh, Rogers. Uh, oh, Ooh, took one! Dude. That left is connecting there, right there for Dugan. Both guys landed some hard shots. I think Dugan won that trade though. Ooh, nice. Beautiful Ooh. uppercut there nice. by Dugan again. Okay. And he's smiling. He's having fun. Man. Yeah. He's countering the body shot with an uppercut, which is good. Yep. <laughs> he was going there. He was going there. Yep. Sneaky round one, guys. Sneaky yeah. round one. Uh, to the, I think maybe the layman, I think they would probably lean Rogers. Guys, Dugan had a lot of great body shots, counter work, uppercuts, maybe the two biggest shots of the round. Yes. That's a tough one he, to score. He landed the, Dugan had landed the harder blows. Uh, he had more volume and he kept the pace, kept the center of the ring more. I would give it more Rogers that round. But uh, Dugan's having fun and smiling and he's got yeah. that look, like you said, man. So we'll see how round two goes. Brock, it's been two fights in the row. One fighter has sat, one fighter has stood. Do you feel any uh, difference in there? Have you always been a sitter? I really don't like sitting, man. I like to kind of stand up. Yeah. You know. It's mental games. Round two is just like how round one goes. Yes. Rogers right there in the jab, pushing the jab out, pushing the jab out. Dugan's fine to let him get inside and try with the counters. Big shots right here. Very, and they're not brawling, man. They're boxing. They're shoulder rolling. They're they're dipping, man. This is a, this is a boxing match. To most people on the outside, it looks like a brawl because it, it's so fast. Rogers doing a lot of body work right now. Yes. Action right in front of us. Nice call. Nice uppercut. Wow. Nice. Rogers had a little smile to him. Yep. Both guys are smiling. They're putting on a show, man. Ooh, nice. beautiful left counter. Rogers is coming with the volume. Man. There's a reason this guy is 9-0. Yes, sir. Always on the move, always on the go, always the aggressor. Yes. Rogers looking really good here in round two. Yes, great. One thing I keep on seeing, Brock, he might have to really work on it. He keeps on putting his head down and leaving it out there when he ducks there. He's got to take that head back, you know what I mean? You don't want to leave yeah. that too out there. Sometimes when you're going under too much, you're doing that for a show. You're trying to make the guy miss, get your swag. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Big shots here by Rogers in the round two. Very decisive round from, from Rogers. 
Ooh, see. Nice, man. These guys, these guys are having fun. And it, like I said, this is what it's all about. The crowd's getting into it too. Yeah. They said are starting to come alive. We're about to go into round three. Two strong rounds here by Rogers in the red corner. Trying to improve to a nice clean 10 0. One more round like that, I think he goes to 10 0. I think Durgan, he's gotta he's gotta come out, he's gotta take the center of the ring. He has to uh he has to do a round like Rogers just did, man. He has to make the he has to make the at a hard night for the judge to put this guy out. Right. And it's hard because you can see he's definitely the counter puncher, definitely the yeah. uh, who throws less. Is it hard? You gotta try to change up your game, or do you still stay uh, straight with what you what you're good at? Third round, I think you bite down, man, and you come forward. Yes, sir. You don't go back. Not this. It's too. Oh. Rogers has got too much momentum now. Beautiful body shot then to the head. The momentum of Rogers keeps on building here. Man. Pouring on a boxing clinic. This corner said he's tired. I think he is tired. His punch is, his punch is a lot slower now. Starting to get loopy. Starting yep. to, the punches are calling the loopy set of those nice clean uppercuts. Yep. Rogers still like he can go another couple rounds. Nice. Beautiful. Left. I think he rocked him with that. He don't see it. Ooh. Yeah. Two more. Oh, oh. He might put him down. Trying to end the fight here at the Fight 68. Brilliant performance right here by Rogers. Yes. Durgan said he's not out. He's not out. It's not over. He has to come forward. He has to do more of that. He has to go for the kill now. He has to go for the kill. Oh, great body shot yes. right there by Dugan. Yes. Rodgers needs to be uh, weary with, with, with dropping the head so he can run into a shot in the temple and he, it could be lights out, man. 10 seconds oh. left. Oh. 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 shot of the night. Man. Oh. Nice. Oh. Great sportsmanship right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he didn't mean to do that. Great fight, man. Great fight. Three bangers already, man. We got we got more? Eleven more. Oh my god. Eleven more. Oh my god. Hey, those those are I, I've seen the winners of these yeah. these first three fights, man. Hey, future stars in kickboxing. Yeah, Brandon kickboxing. Tyler winning that in the main. Billy. Man. You should win that in a nice, clean, I think, unanimous decision there yes. from Billy Rogers. Oh, yeah. Fights have been uber entertaining. They are throwing some leather right now. Big things to come. Man, I might just start doing this <laughs> instead of fight. That's a lot funner. I know, man. I know, <laughs> man. Brock on the mic, man. Brock Weaver. Big things in the works right now. Uh, maybe more news to come very, very soon. Yes.
got some big, big fights to come, guys. 11 more fights. Main event, Omar Smith and Cam Bennett. A couple big light heavyweight matches. Uh, fight Bananas looking for the scrap match. Coleman Young versus James Crosby. Man, and uh, this Nick, third to the last, Josh Mayo. Against, uh, Tyler Miller. Tyler Miller, man. Josh Mayo, I watched this. This this kid's been training with me and Blake since he started. He started when we had the gym over at Slaughterhouse, man. And I watched this kid come from zero to a hundred. Yeah, I've been hearing that. I've been hearing that all week long. The uh, Josh Mayo is going to fight Anson Swindle. Anson Swindle has been a veteran here at Island Fights on the amateur shows. They were really excited about that fight. Swindle got hurt three, four days ago. So much respect there to Tyler Miller to pick up a tough ass opponent that's Josh Mayo on three, four days notice. Yes. Check, check, check. Our ring announcer, Christopher James. Check, check. Check, check, check. Yeah, let's hear it for both young men, y'all. After three rounds of awesome action inside the ring, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the bout identically with scores of 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. From the red corner, Billy the Red Rogers. Billy's got a great look to him, you know what I mean? He looks at the camera a lot, can communicate. Yeah. 10 and 0, that's a nice round record. Nah, man, yeah, he's, in, he's an entertainer. And like I said, you, you can't just be a good fighter these days. You got to oh, have the entertainment. Oh, Billy the Red Rogers, man, 10 and 0 now, brother. That is a, an, an impressive record, man. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling amazing. I finally put on a performance for the city. I've been waiting a long time for this. That one was for my pops. I felt like he was in my corner tonight. And I'm just so happy to finally put on a performance. I'd like to give a big thanks to all my sponsors, Rooster Tail Charters. And I'm just so happy, man, finally do it. Kind of a little nervous on the mic, I'm not gonna lie. Well listen man, you went out there, you did a great job. Your opponent delivered more of a fight than I thought you were expecting. Um, give me quick words on him, 30 seconds. He's a tough opponent and uh, I, I, I even told him, you see me talking to him right there. I said I'd give it to him uh, in Atlanta if he wanted it again, but I think it's on to the next, bigger and better things. I'll get a full training camp next time. Y'all make sure to come out to Cheetahs, man. And, uh, <laughs> Come party. Thanks, man. Let's hear it for your man right there, Billy the Red Roger. Brock, he sounded like a professional. He went to the, the after party. He <laughs> went to the spot. <laughs> he was going hey, in. If you, if you know anything about Island Fights, they're all about the after party. <laughs> right? 